Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tanya, if you are new here, welcome. And today, first of all, happy Monday, and I hope everyone had a great weekend. I have my coffee here, which I have not tasted yet. Mm, that's really good this morning. Have my coffee here. And of course, you guys, this is gonna be a weight update video, but I like to call it weight update and coffee and chat. This way we can chat about what happened over this weekend, what happened over the past week, uh, the weekend, and all about my weight update. So I'm going to put the weight up here or up here. Again, you know my scale light is just acting like acting crazy. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead, right ahead and jump on into it. So my weight last week was 218.5. And this week, y'all, my weight is 218.6. So... I have maintained my weight this week. I did not lose anything. I don't consider an ounce of weight a gain. <laughs> it is just a maintain, y'all. I maintained my weight this week, which is um, fine for me. Uh, you don't have losses every single week. I think I explained that in my last video, my last weight update video. We don't have losses every week. Sometimes we have a gain. And I think maintaining weight is perfectly fine. So. How did my week of eating go? Well, I pretty much show you guys what I eat every single day. So I think my eating went well. Um, let me see. Over the past, over this weekend, I did work. So I did my lunch time shorts. Sometimes if I can squeeze in a luncheon chat where I'm eating lunch and chatting with you guys while I'm at work, I will squeeze that in. I wasn't able to squeeze that in this weekend because um, I have been battling a little bit of a toothache, a little bit of a toothache. And y'all, I don't know if you, if some of you are new, but if you guys have been with me for a while, you remember last year uh, in July, I had a really hor horrific toothache. And I had this toothache the day of my daughter's wedding. If you remember, I talked about my daughter was getting married. And the day of her wedding, I just had the worst toothache known to man. I was up all night, the night before her wedding, up all night with that toothache. And my dentist gave me a referral to get the tooth taken out. Well, you know, your girl is scared. I'm scared to go to the oral surgeon. I'm scared. And here it is 10 months later and the same tooth <laughs> is giving me a problem again, which antibiotics, and pain medicine, it helps the problem. It doesn't cure it. It helps the problem for a little while and then the problem will come back. So I was battling that toothache this weekend. I'm back on antibiotics again and my dentist is like, will you please go get the tooth taken out? She doesn't wanna take it out because I need to see an oral surgeon to get it taken out. Um, and like I said, I am scared to death to go to the oral surgeon. So I have not gone. Because the antibiotics takes care of the problem. But, you know, yeah, I know. I got to get it taken out, and I will. But I have also mentioned that I'm going to see my daughter Mother's Day weekend. So I'm not going to go to the oral surgeon before I go see my daughter. I'm going to see my daughter first. I'm on the antibiotics. They are working. The pain is gone. The swelling is going away. As long as I can get through my vacation when I come back, I'm not going to promise you I'll go, but I will do my best <laughs> to go see the oral surgeon and get that tooth taken out. So that's what happened with me this weekend. Eating went perfectly well. Actually, eating didn't go well because I could not really eat. I did eat this weekend, but that's to say why I didn't do the luncheon chat was because it's very hard to eat when you have an achy tooth, much less eat and talk. So I couldn't do both with the tooth going on like that. But like I said, it is getting better. It's still a little bit tender and swollen, but it's getting better. So um, this weekend, like I said, I worked. So um, eating, eating was fine. Um, I had some soft foods that I ate. Couldn't really have anything that was too tough on my mouth. Other than that, the week went well. Everything went okay, so 
that's really it, you guys. I just maintain my weight. My clothes are fitting really nicely. I actually have some clothes coming from Shein that I ordered because, like I said, I'm going to see my daughter, so um, I needed some new clothes. Um, a lot of the clothes that I have in my closet, they are uh, big. They're they're just they're getting big. So um, I'm constantly having to pull my clothes up. I was in Walmart the other day with a pair of pants on that was just completely too big. And I'm just walking down the aisles, pulling my pants up, pulling my pants up, pulling my pants up. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. You've just got to get some new clothes. And that's the one thing about either gaining weight or losing weight is that if you gain a lot of weight, you have to buy clothes. If you lose a lot of weight, you have to buy clothes. And so once you get into that maintaining process that when you're maintaining your weight, then you could kind of keep, you know, keep your, you don't have to keep, you know, buying clothes. So that is, yeah, so that's that. Um, I just unboxed a few things from Amazon. You'll see that in my What I Eat in a Day update video, which I'm filming now. You're going to see me in the same shirt. You're going to see the same coffee cup here um, because I'm filming both videos today. Uh, um, yeah, filming both videos of those videos today. So, um, I guess there's nothing else to really talk about here. So, yeah, I maintained my weight this week. So, now I am 218.6. Hopefully, next week we'll have a loss. Um, if we do, great. If we don't, great. It's all, it's all, it all works out in the end. As long as we're not eating and gaining a whole lot of weight, I think that we are, we are doing okay. And don't forget, you guys, if you were to fall off the wagon, so to speak, or if you were to eat something that you um, know that you should not have eaten, it is okay. It's it's not going to um, derail your weight loss uh, efforts unless you are just, you know, eating a whole bunch of everything and then you gain a whole bunch of weight. That's something different. But if you were to just have a little something and you think to yourself, well, I shouldn't be eating this or this doesn't, it's not, doesn't go to, with my diet, so to speak, or my lifestyle, don't worry about it. We're all human. We all eat things that maybe we think we shouldn't be eating. You know, the other day I had a couple of Ritz crackers. It's not a big deal. You know, with some cheese. It's it's not a big deal. You're human. You still have to live your life. You don't have to give up every single thing that you want to eat. Um, but it's okay. I had did my lunchtime short and I had um, a Diet Coke in my lunchtime short. And somebody made a comment and said something to the effect that, well, you know, that still has sugar in it. Well, whatever, you know, I'm not giving up my diet soda. I'm not giving up my coffee. So it, it just, it doesn't matter. Um, there's fake sugars in it. And of course there, there is, you know, it, it is what it is. It's diet soda. Nobody ever said it was the healthiest thing to drink. I certainly never said it was the healthiest thing to drink, but I'm going to drink it still. Either way, I'm going to drink because it's not something I want to give up. You don't have to give up every single thing as long as what you're eating is not hindering your weight loss it's not affecting your health in any way you know some people on a low carb lifestyle they still eat sugar they still eat carbs and all of this i had a dinner roll you know last week i had like a little bit of a dinner roll with my dinner you all have you all you know seen that as well so um don't don't worry about it. Don't think that you have to just give up all of your favorite foods because you don't have to do that. You can certainly fit things into your lifestyle, whether you're doing low carb or not. No matter what you're doing, if you're doing low fat, low whatever, all whatever, you could always fit your things in. If you just uh, do your macros, calculate it, you can you can make it work for you. Um, so. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I have to say about that. And my clothes are fitting well. I feel good, except for that little tooth thing. <laughs> Other than that, I feel good. Um, I'm sleeping well. I'm not having any issues. A lot of people are talking about they have their uh, perimenopausal issues and things like that. I don't even feel any of those symptoms. I might have a hot flash here or there, but... I really believe that because I switched over to a low carb diet that I'm not having a lot of those issues. I'm 52 years old, so um, I don't even know if I'm in perimenopause, to be honest with you. That might be TMI, but I really don't even know. I could be, I probably am, I'm 52, I probably am, but I'm just not having a lot of the aggravating symptoms. My hormones are still pretty much in balance. 
Um, I, I feel good. So that's, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So yeah. So don't feel bad if you eat something or, you know, if you make a, a bad decision, it's okay. When I go see my daughter, am I going to fall off the wagon? No. Am I going to gain a ton of weight? I certainly hope not, but I plan on enjoying my vacation with my daughter. I plan on having some foods. Um, I don't want to be completely just say no to everything. I don't think that's healthy to say no to everything. If you want something, have a little bite of it. It's okay. I'm not saying have the whole cheesecake. Have a little bite of it if you really want something. And I think it's going to be okay. I think you're going to be okay. Like I said, if you eat right 90% of the time, that little bit that you have that you might perceive as a bad food is not going to hinder your weight loss at all. And you don't have to let the scale define who you are. Don't let the scale define your mood. Don't let the scale define anything about you. Go off how you feel. Go off how your clothes are fitting. Take your measurements. Inches are very important as well. I don't take my measurements. I wish I could. I did in the beginning. I just don't. But if you're not losing weight, maybe you're losing inches. Inches are a big deal. Um, check your measure, your arms, your waist, your bust area. You could be losing inches and, you know, you don't even realize it. But as long as you feel great, your clothes are still fitting great, your mental health is good, take care of your mental health. That's, excuse me, that's very important, you guys. Take care of your mental health. More than anything, more important than weight loss, more important than anything is your mental health. You know, I am not somebody, there are some people that can weigh themselves every day. I'm not that person because it will mess with my head because your weight fluctuates every single day. One day you're up two pounds, the next day you're down, one day you're up, you're down, you're up. That's just what your body does naturally. Water fluctuations, it could be hormonal, it could be anything. Salt, you know, your main, you, your, your retaining fluid and all of that. Your cycle might come on if you're a lady here. That affects your weight totally. So I, I can't do the weight every day thing. I weigh myself, I do my weight update video, like today is Monday, I'll probably weigh myself again on Wednesday. And then the weekend when I do another weight update video. So, you know, take care of your mental health. Don't be on that scale every day if that bothers you. Um, know that you are more than just what you weigh. And it took me a long time to realize and understand that I am more than what I weigh. You know, just because, you know, you know, I was close to 300 pounds at one point And um, my weight never really defined me. I was okay with my weight if that's even that even sounds okay I was okay with it until I started not still my health started to get affected by it then I realized you know this is this has got to stop so that's what I have to say for you guys today keep going know that you're worth it um don't don't judge yourself for eating something that you deem as not good it's okay it's you just move on you just move on to the next day or move on. You know what? Move on to the next moment. If you have something that you know or that you think you should eat, just move on to the next moment. Have the moment, eat the thing, and then move on to the next moment and make a better choice. That's all you can do. Just make a better choice. So that's it for today, you guys. I maintained my weight this week, and that's okay. I'm going to have my coffee, and I will see you guys next week with another weight update and a coffee and chat. All right, you guys. Take care. And have a great day.